how do you avoid the pressure that comes with that golden generation tag going into tournaments? Something you know about as well. But it's, it's you know, we, what happens with that is, first and foremost, you need to have a generation that was almost there. So we had that in France and, and in, in Belgium also, they had that. Uh, they had an amazing uh, generation in the 80s. Um, and they, they, they kind of opened that path for you. Um, and then I always say, I'm not talking about that generation or any generation. You, you, you are a generation. To be a golden generation, you need to, be, to put some gold on it. And what I mean by gold is winning. Uh, and that's the aim that we have. Um, you don't want to be sitting back home in 10 years and thinking, wow, we had a good generation. What you want is to make sure that you call each other, you go on holiday with each other and say, do you remember when we won that? And it's going to be time also, do you remember when we lost that one? Or whatever, but you also can have a, do you remember when we won that? So generation is good. It was very important for, for Belgium to, to, to be able to qualify again and to be where the team is right now and where the country is and all those players being so dominant in their team. Uh, and the, the, not even dominant, some of the, the best players in their team. Now, you're going to be in the Belgium camp that the boss obviously is going to, is going to lead and is going to be in a driving seat. Can you make that generation a golden generation? And that will be uh, perfect. But there's no great history of, of Belgium reaching finals and, and semi-finals. Would, would getting through the group stages be success for you? There is not such a thing as, as uh, assessing a World Cup before it happened. I think you can assess the, the qualification campaign and now we've earned the right of having three games. That's the only thing we've got. And now we need to almost work hard to try to see what we can do with those three games. We need to grow with the, with the tournament. Um, it's, it's, it's almost significant. I think in Spain it, it was a period that uh, really good group of players, but it was very difficult to know what it takes to to, to get far in the tournament. And everything goes down to those feelings that you get in the first games, how you can you become uh, a real unit, uh, a team that you can face adversity, which is nothing to do with, with, with the talent that you, pro, you, you have. And I think it's something that you cannot work until you get into the, into the real stage.